Hello everybody, welcome to another daily dose of gaming news and all that good stuff and let's get started. Not much happening today, uh, it's Monday so uh, I've got some, just a little bit of news and some gaming deals. Uh, supposedly Nvidia partners are offered to uh, like price cuts on GeForce 16 and 30 series uh, this month uh, but the, the, the news here it relates more on the Chinese market because the prices here are uh, a new one um, there are some equivalencies here on US but the, 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 the reports are basically coming from China market uh, however, the, uh, as you can see, it's like minuscule um, discounts here, like permanent cuts and the G416 series. Uh, at the moment, are the most popular, uh, at least in the last uh, Steam survey on the hardware, the GPU hardware. Um, they are not very good now. Uh, the, I think the, the, uh, from the, the, the idea that I have, the 1660 Ti, it's the better ones. Uh, the better one from the 16 um, uh, series here and of course from the 30 series uh, the 3060 is decent enough for 1080p 3070 around uh, that uh, can be manageable for 4040p but the 3080 <clears throat> which is basically uh, out of the market in a lot of places uh, it's good enough for 4k uh, decent one especially the 12 gigabyte one it's good for 4k uh, 60 i think in like almost max settings usually manage most games like 60 fps which is decent enough um but yeah uh, we're not going to see uh, a lot of changes here on the nvidia stuff because the these guys just want to make money and milk milk us out of out of money with the gpu stuff um, it's been talked about endlessly uh, the, the even the last quarter they are just basically holding on on um, uh, some uh, GPUs here to try to maintain the high prices that I be, they are being uh, maintaining um, especially on the 30 series still um, regarding the 40 series I think they have like uh, I saw some news like I don't know how many billions uh, of dollars equivalent on, on stock uh, in GPUs here uh, doesn't explain for example usually all the, the manufacturers have to have like an X uh, a percentage of uh, of stock uh, for RMAs and everything and for, for uh, GPUs that basically blow out or something like that usually they have, have to have like a percentage usually it's very slow, uh, small I think around 5% or between 5 and 10% I'm not sure don't quote me on that uh but that doesn't explain the, the at least i think it i don't want to mess up the numbers but at least one billion dollars because i saw a billion so at least one billion dollars of gpu uh stock there they are holding on to keep the gpu prices high uh, amg is still uh, is starting to cut off a little bit as i mentioned in a previous video the 17900 xt version they basically we see a lot like $100 cut which starts to at least um, give the opportunity it kind of almost um, makes reasonable to buy that that GPU because it, it trades blows uh, with the 4070i uh, the 4070i was like uh, $800 to mess up I think and uh, now it starts to get uh, a little bit better the 7900 xt however i think they are like maximum 700 dollars gpus if it they lower 700 now people can start buying those because the halo products like the 4090s and the xtx uh, from amd uh, what what you're going to do that's the best what they can offer usually it's way uh, more expensive than the uh, middle high-end uh, GPUs which should be they should be brought down uh, like a, a few notches down in terms of pricing so you can uh, justify uh, for people to buy new GPUs like kind of maintaining the same price from the previous generation in terms of high-end GPUs and get an extra percentage in boost on the performance um, while it doesn't happen that uh, i don't know what they are thinking but uh, if it this doesn't happen maintaining the same kind of cheap uh, gpu prices and have that extra boost on performance people will not uh, like start buying 
out of nowhere. It, it, it's uh, it doesn't that's now uh, incremental um, improvements in technology work. Um, it's like basically the same things with cell phones. You have the latest cell phone. It offers uh, the, the, at the same price. It offers uh, even if you like two or three percent better price, but uh, price no uh, performance. But it, it's always usually at the, around about the same price. Uh, usually the ones that break that mold usually it's able because they are uh, pimps they like to uh, pimp out uh, and empty the wallets of their clients but that's another thing it's like nvidia now they think they are able i, I don't know um, fortunately they don't control every uh, aspect of the production of the gpus or else you're going to get in a in a lot of hurt in terms of price but yeah uh, i will start rambling uh, in terms of technology AMD shares like the new second gen 3D Vcash, how they go about it, uh, mainly for the, the CPUs here. Um, and they did an interesting thing regarding uh, th this thing because uh, the, the CCDs are still in 7 nanometers from what I understood, but the Vcash is in a smaller uh, size, like 5 nanometers. And the way they go about it, like this is. Uh, from what I understood from this article, it's a long article, but it's very technically very interesting. And if you are uh, curious about the technology, basically they had to um, compress basically the same kind of because it has the same uh, transistor uh, count. So they have to compress even more uh, from the seven nanometers to fit uh, in the five nanometer uh, V cache. So they are the, they have the same size. So the, the V cache is piled up uh, on the CCD when it's applicable. Uh, Let's talk about the 7800. So you have to, uh, uh, um, the, the area that the CCD occupies have to be shrinked so that the V cache can be the same size on the, because it's different sizes and they went about it. As you can see here, the Zen 3 to the Zen 4, how it goes about it. They have to compress it a little bit more. Uh, I think that's why mainly we saw a lot of, um, uh, operating temperatures rise a little bit more than than the, the previous generation because you have to put the transistors together so the the, the heat generation there it's uh, it's more focused so it tends to uh, get a little bit um, more heat uh, at the same kind of frequency te um, operation um, especially we saw that's why we saw I think the 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 the, the sink the heat sink of the cpu itself it's it's thicker a little bit i think it's to try to uh, dissipate better the heat uh, because it can i think it can this way soak a little bit more and give that uh, i don't know maybe um give a little bit more headroom in the temperature wise i'm not i'm not sure i'm not an engineer this is what i understood from the uh, from the article itself, but it's very interesting how they go about it, uh, maintaining uh, the because this uh, enables uh, enables them to basically uh, get a more cheaper and more reliable uh, process man manufacturer, the seven nanometers, and then introduce this uh, more important Vcash, which is uh, where the apps going to get uh, apps or in this case more uh, more games uh, get the they need the Vcash, and if the Vcash is um, like uh, faster, it, it, it's better to, to make the, the frame rates and, and take advantage of that um, because they uh, the, the 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 speeds were like two terabytes. They increased to two point five terabytes per second, which is very interesting how they go about it. Um, but yeah, from hardware and and and, so, and uh, gaming news, this is it. Now we're going for uh, gaming deals. We got some the Capcom uh, publisher uh, deals. It's all over the place. We got Monster World, Devil, uh, Resident Evil franchise, Okami HD. Uh, I got some Eden games uh, because I, I don't. Uh, it's not for me. I'm still curious about Monster Hunter World. Um, but yeah, we got all the Capcom. Uh, almost all of them are or free to play or in discount, which is very good. I just single out here uh, Monster Hunter World because it's like the the main one still. They have the the other one, which is uh, Monster Hunter Rise, which is also on discount, 34%. But Monster Hunter World, uh, I was curious to see with all the DLCs and everything, you get 50% uh, off, uh, like 35 bucks for the digital deluxe edition or whatever this is um, and also there is on the Ubisoft 
uh, one there is a lot of uh, the assassin's creed the crew fair cry and a lot of more games tom clancy's they are all in discount uh i re i also hide a lot of games but as you can see i have a lot of them you get also like the anno franchise uh, south park um you got all of them i will leave uh, the, the search terms here the links that i used uh, in the description below so you can check for that out because it's a lot of games i'm not going uh, one by one um i will leave there um in my description uh the the search them so you can see if you have any of them if you are interested or not uh, there are some uh, pretty great deals from uh, even if you like fair cry uh watch dogs 2 is a good deal here 85 percent off as you can see the, the, there is a lot of uh, uh, publisher um, deals happening now um but yeah basically this is it for today not much to talk about uh i, I really enjoyed this how they go about it the the the, the new process uh, the new cpu process and manufacturing and everything it's it's always interesting to know a little bit more how the things work uh regarding that and basically that's it guys i will go and wrap up here for today i hope you have a wonderful day i will see you in the next one so until then and i'm master out